My own course would be, you know, valuable and interesting to foreign executives because a lot of them do need to, uh, first of all, understand the unique Chinese business environment and how it has evolved. So I spent some time on explaining how this evolution has happened and the key points and the, the, the engine dri driving the change. Only when you understand the logic behind the change, then you will be able to see where it would actually you know, uh, get to. Because in China, it's extremely important to know which way the wind is blowing so that you can be prepared and take advantage of the trend. It gives you a whole new perspective on how things actually work in China. So it gives you a great insight on how to work around the management system and how government regulations influence the different uh, variables in the economy and, and in, the, in the, manage, the management. And I find it actually really helpful because I didn't know that. I thought it, was, it could be easier and it's not. He gave us a complete vision of what China people think about and what, how they do business. Your question is what's bad about using intensive using about social network because in making the, the, the actual cost of doing business in China much higher than it need to be. His experience as a Chinese student, as a Chinese businessman, as a Chinese professor definitely gave us the whole picture of what we need to know in order to do business with a changing China. The second uh, point or benefit of my uh, session is to look at the success stories and uh, the failure stories of major MNCs in China so that uh, uh, other MNCs can avoid the same mistakes and actually do even better than the first comers. The question that I did to him clear immediately my mind. It's been opening for me in, in, in so many ways. Like now I really understand how to come to China, what I have to do, what I don't have to do to open a business here.